impressed with their professionalism and efficiency. It's my first day here as an intern and I can't wait to learn the ropes of the food industry. Let's go! But first, let me tell you about our industry, food services. It comprises of establishments such as coffee shops, hawker centres and restaurants that prep food for all of us. And thanks to food services, Singapore is now one of Asia's top food cities. Now we are all ready for customers. Without further ado, let's begin our tour. Welcome viewers as we go into the world of food services. Are you the new interns? Yes, I am. Thank you for recognizing me, sir. What is your name? My name is Jackie. I'm the sous chef here. So, chef, what is your job like? Okay, basically, I have to assist my head chef to run all the operations in the kitchen smoothly, maintain the food quality, and follow the standard operating procedure for food safety. Oversee other chefs in the kitchen and oversee all the food production and maintain the inventory. Basically, sous chef is the second in charge in the kitchen when the head chef is not around. Oh. What kind of challenges do you face in your job and what skills do you need to overcome these challenges? Pressure to deliver the food on time to the guests. That's why time management is important. And leadership skills to motivate and run the team. Oh, Chef, I think that a lot of youths will aspire to work alongside professionals like you. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you for You're your welcome. time. Welcome! Do you know that there are 6,700 food establishments in the food services industry in Singapore? That means that you have 6,700 options to choose from when you want to eat out. That's good news for many Singaporeans, especially since 60% of us eat out at least once a week. Singapore is now one of the top 10 food cities in the world according to media company Lonely Planet. And did you know that from 2013 to 2014, one of our very own homegrown chefs, Chef Janice Wong, won Asia's Best Pastry Chef Award? Who could it be next? It could be you, or you, or you, or even me! <gasps> wow, these look so pretty! Must have taken a great deal of skill to decorate these so meticulously. <gasps> Excuse me, ma'am. Did you make all these desserts? Yes, I did. I'm the pastry chef here. <gasps> chef, what is your name? Uh, chef Ling. <gasps> chef Ling. So what do you do as a pastry chef? Oh, right here, we actually create desserts. We do mainly plated desserts, some pies and tarts. And then on special occasions when customers want birthday cakes, we actually make it for them. But these all look so amazing. What's the secret behind your job? How do you make such amazing desserts? To be a pastry chef, you need to be precise. So when you talk about pastry, pastry is a lot like more like science than art. Art is the finishing where you look at something's very pretty and everything. But behind that, there's the science where every ingredient comes into play. Wow, I didn't know that so much food science went on in baking. So chef, what do you hope to see in the future of this industry? I hope to see more Singaporeans enter and stay in the industry for sure. So actually there are a lot of courses like uh, diploma courses, short-term courses for people who are interested in this industry. Wow, I didn't know that making cakes and pastries would be so challenging, you know, all the measuring, the creative experimenting. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <gasps> Have you ever wanted to make your own dessert? Chef, what are we making here today? Uh, I'm making the chocolate ganache tart. Ooh, time to display my raw talent! Okay, what we're going to do first, we're going to heat up the cream. And then we're going to pour one third of it into the shark chocolate, 66% co cocoa content. And ta-da! Look at my creation! Thank you for all your help today. I'm off to practice now. Bye! Bye. So I've already spoken to the chefs. But there is one last important job, the captains. Miss Jovin, Miss Jovin. Yes. How do you manage to carry that heavy power plate so effortlessly? 
Oh uh, well, it takes time and practice to do so. Yes, yes, but can you please impart some tips to me? Uh, what kind of skills do you need to be a good senior captain? For you to be a good senior captain, you must be physically fit, good communication skills in order to interact with others, to have uh, effective and active listening towards your colleagues, as well as uh, discipline and professionalism at work. Oh, I think all those skills are beyond my capabilities right now. But Ms Jovin, what are some of the tasks within your job scope? Tasks within my job scope will be taking off orders, serving of food, clearing of plates, as well as inputting orders through the kitchen as well as the bar. I think you have the busiest job here. There's so many things to do. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable tips. I'm sure it'll be very helpful to me and I really admire your pride and your professionalism. Miss Jovin, you are my new role model. Let's do this! Well, aren't you glad you joined me? That concludes our tour for today and it's only 4 p.m. I need to start preparing for the dinner crowd soon. Wait, 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 wait. Before I forget, thank you to all the professionals that we met today. They gave me so much valuable information. Do drop by sometime, okay? And maybe I'll get to serve you a meal. Bye!